So Anton, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today. So you are head of employer branding at uh, Reich. And um, so tell us about your expertise. Your expertise are uh, public relations, developer relations in IT. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. Uh, there are different uh, definition of the job, uh, um, of my job. And someone calls it developer, developer relations. Someone calls it uh, HR marketer, and uh, we have another definition, uh, employer branding manager. And uh, I would love to uh, to use this one, the last one for, for my job. Employer branding manager, it's kind of combination of HR, of marketing, and uh, working with brand, uh, so on. Sure. So how is employer branding different from human resources management? Um, I would say that um, HR manager, uh, HR management totally, it's a kind of holistic process, uh, including all this part as recruitment, enablement, learning, HR business partnership, uh, all kinds of preparations. And uh, HR marketing or employer branding uh, is a part uh, of, of it. Um, of course, uh, surely employer branding is connected with all these uh, HR directions as well as, as well as it's connected with other company departments. Uh, for example, we are working closely with uh, engineering organization, product organization, customer success organization, and uh, design team and uh, every team in our company. But um, we have, of course, we have uh, an HR goal to uh, make uh, our company a destination employer for, for potential candidates, for people who, is look, uh, people who are looking at the new job or uh, will be looking the new job in near future. So, um, we have uh, to take into account the uh, recruitment goals uh, of the organization to uh, build our strategy and uh, tactics. But um, I don't uh, like this. Um, I don't like uh, to. Uh, I don't like this definition that uh, employer branded teams should work on. Uh, uh, for the recruitment and our team uh, doesn't work for recruitment. Uh, we obviously we, we help uh, the talent organization to attract uh, talents, but um, we uh, our, our goal to work on image on brand uh, and uh, uh, hiring people is not our goal, but but attracting people and making making uh, the uh, making Reich as a workplace attractive is our path and goal. Okay, perfect. Um, and how do you create a great working environment or a great working culture in a company? Um, it's, it's, it's very simple and difficult question simultaneously. Uh, uh, what and um, with, with the culture, everything is, 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 is simple and difficult simultaneously because culture is the main value of the company and the companies uh, and the most difficult thing to, to define. What is culture? What, what, what culture uh, do you have? And it is difficult to, to say what, what and which culture uh, uh, Reich has. But... Um, Every employer brand uh, uh, for every company uh, is based on culture and uh, it is the foundation, foundation of brand and uh, exactly that's why uh, every employer brand and team uh, work on, uh, uh, works on uh, EVP, employer value proposition. It's the attempt to find the right wording to display culture of your company uh, externally. And uh, I'm really proud of right culture and we put a uh, huge attention uh, to, um, to, um, to develop it, to make it better, to, to support it. Uh, for example, every job interview uh, in Reich has a cultural feedpot. Um, 
And I'd like to say you should trust people uh, in the company. You should be transparent uh, with your communication inside the organization. Uh, you uh, need to set clear goals for the whole organization and have the open channels to, to translate the, these goals, to communicate over these goals. Uh, uh, and uh, the, the culture is about values, uh, not the decorative uh, values, but, but practical, real life values. In our company, uh, there are three pillars of, of these values. It's about growth, uh, collaboration, uh, and execution. Uh, and um, the, uh, these three uh, core values are very important for us. And we, uh, uh, and they are not nominal, but uh, real existing. And of course, we support uh, diversity in the organization because we have a lot of offices over the world and we respect uh, individuality of people and uh, we support inclusion and uh, support internal communities, formal and informal. We have huge um, and developed horizontal uh, connections between people. They, uh, they have clubs, uh, common interests. Uh, uh, fr from our uh, perspective, we support um, uh, the communities which are uh, connected with our activities. For example, we have uh, speakers um, club and uh, writers community, and we uh, help these people to uh, to stay together, help with mentorship, have help with learning, and and so on. And uh, the core, uh, the core value, uh, the core uh, principle is to take in account specifics and uh, markets for each office, uh, but but stay united as, and uh, stay united as Reich. And we have this uh, motto: uh, work as one, and it is about Reich. We are working as one. Okay, and would you say employer branding is only possible with an expansive budget? And can companies with smaller teams and a smaller budget create a good environment for their employees? Um, of course, yes. Short uh, answer is yes. Uh, uh, but then the good news is even if you haven't done anything for employer branding, it already exists. Uh, uh, for uh, the company, of course, uh, you obviously have job descriptions, you have reviews from your uh, current and former employees uh, on Glassdoor, on LinkedIn, or any other uh, sites or, or sources. Of course, uh, you, you have rumors and uh, sometimes speculations about your company and about your brand. And it's your choice to work with it or uh, to. Um, to to leave it to miss it and uh, um, uh, if you have uh, not 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 so huge budget you can work with 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 the um, with your current employees internally because uh, the foundation of of every employer branding um, activities are in internal uh, environment so uh, you can um, you can work with engagement of your current employees with satisfaction and then uh, scale this process and, and run events and, uh, um, and uh, make uh, publications and uh, uh, do some activities externally. Uh, for the first step, if you don't have uh, any budget, even any budget, uh, you can research uh, with which things are really valuable in your organization, in your company, and uh, try to find uh, ways to demonstrate it in externally. Of course, um, the main advice, be inventive, be experimental, and uh, employer branding is not about money, but it's about creativity. You should go, um, you should go, by unbeaten tracks and try uh, uh, to find uh, new ways and new approaches how to how to get your potential audience and uh, um, how to to make your brand attractive uh, and vis visible and attractive and of course you should think about uh, metrics um, uh, 
if you have one hundred dollars for 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 your campaign or uh, one hundred thousand dollars for your campaign, you should think about efficiency and data and uh, how to measure the success of of your campaigns of your events. Um, and everything else is very, very flexible. Uh, speaking about track, we don't uh, spend a lot of uh, money for our events. Uh, it's not um, my path, but we uh, are trying to uh, be remarkable for uh, our audience, for our relevant audience. And we are remarkable by, by our activities and uh, by, our, by our way of communication uh, in the events. Okay, very good. And can you use the same strategies for different departments in an organization? Mm, speaking about TRAC, we use the, the common approach. Uh, we are pretty open for all the, uh, for all the departments and teams uh, and ready to help uh, in their needs and their activities. But of course, we have uh, sub brands uh, inside the organization. We have uh, we have Rike Tech Club. Uh, it is related to engineering organization, engineering activities, and we promote our engineering events and post uh, via Rike Tech Club. Uh, we have uh, Rike Design Resources, uh, Medium Resource, and uh, Behance, and uh, um, and so on. And uh, that's about uh, more visual content, conceptual content. Uh, we have uh, customer facing direction in our employer branding, and that's about working with uh, with customers, uh, some soft skills approach, some some process uh, knowledge sharing. Uh, uh, we are very experienced in this. Uh, it's usually depending on demands of the um, concrete departments. Uh, so. On the one hand, we have the common approach, uh, which is willing to help uh, everyone in, in the organization. On the other hand, we have some specific uh, things uh, we can suggest to, to different uh, departments inside the organization. Okay. And how do you deal with disgruntled employees and improve the brand image then for them? Of course, um, there, there, is, uh, uh, there are some cases, uh, there are cases in, 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 the, um, in the organization because it's a uh, life, uh, life uh, process. And of course, we, some, from time to time, we, we have complaints and, and, and so on. Um, and um, we are trying to listen to all the people and to be open to, to all the complaints, to all the ideas, to all the comment inside the organization. We have uh, open channels for this. We have one-on-one -on -one meetings. Uh, our managers uh, uh, have one-on-one -on -one meetings with colleagues. We have satisfaction surveys, engagement surveys, and uh, we can uh, collect this uh, information and um, work closely with, with uh, people on, on um, the problems uh, they want to highlight for us. Uh, and of course, we, um, we put a lot of efforts uh, into internal branding in part because uh, we convinced that it is the uh, major and the huge part of branding. Um, people should be satisfied with, 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 uh, with the company. Uh, with your current activities, uh, only after that you can you can operate externally. You can act uh, externally for, uh, on the market. So yeah, we we're trying to work with every signal, uh, with every feedback, and uh, and uh, if if it's uh, a tendency, tr we are trying to to fix it, uh, to change processes, and uh, improve uh, our work. Wow, and how do you engage more employees to take part in employer branding? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very um, sophisticated question uh, because we are working uh, every day on it. Uh, and uh, the short answer is to uh, show that um, this 
uh, this work is valuable and worthy uh, for the organization, for the people, for the for the uh, concrete uh, employee, if he um, or she acts as a speaker or as a writer, he can uh, he or she uh, can work on uh, personal brand and help the organization with the employer brand. Uh, and we respect any initiative in this uh, sphere, in this field. Um, we try to show efficiency of, of uh, the efforts uh, of these people who, uh, who are contributing to employer brand. And we're trying to, to show numbers, conversions, and um, to, uh, to employees and uh, to management as well, because management uh, holds uh, holds uh, the resources for for these people um, and uh, of course we uh, have open channels uh, in in messengers and in in Reich, uh, as a product and we are trying to uh, inform people internally about uh, our events and these events um, uh, where our uh, speakers and uh, um, speakers participate uh, uh, on demand, we run in training and learning program and mentorship programs for um, uh, speakers, for uh, writers who want to improve uh, their skills. Uh, uh, we have recognition system uh, with, with uh, some gamification elements in it uh, for those who um, contribute in the content uh, regularly. Uh, on medium, on uh, meetups, technical conferences, not so, not, not so technical, but uh, professional conferences. And we are trying and uh, we are good in this. We, we support in the culture of sharing knowledge uh, for each department, uh, for, the entire, uh, for the entire organization. So sharing is caring and uh, we are trying to support every uh, knowledge sharing activity in the organization. Fantastic. And tell people where they can find you. Find me on the LinkedIn if you want to chat or ask questions or comment or um, discuss some, some things uh, I, uh, I've spoken about. Uh, please welcome. Um, I will be happy to get in touch. Fantastic. Well, listen, Anton, thank you so much for your time today. And um, it's great. It was a pleasure to have you on the podcast and it was very informative. So, um, once again, thanks so much and uh, have a great rest of your week and hopefully we'll yeah. have you again in the future. Thank you so much and thank you for having me and uh, take care. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Take care then. Bye for now.